What's up everybody, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Venice, California and about to tour this newly constructed modern farmhouse right behind me. This house has five bedrooms, six baths, 5,099 square feet of interior space built on a 10,220 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $4,995,000. We will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the developer, JJP Construction, and the listing agents for allowing us to tour their amazing listing. Now, let's begin. everyone before we start our tour I want to thank this week's video sponsor North One. North One is a fast and easy to use digital business bank account. Opening a North One account is super easy. It takes under three minutes to open an FDIC insured business checking account. Whether you're working from home or on the go everything you need to manage your business finances is at your fingertips. You pretty much never have to step foot in a bank branch ever again. You can easily save for big expenses by creating sub-accounts that automatically save for things like tax time, rent, and payroll. If you're a business owner that works with Shopify, Stripe, Square, or PayPal, you can connect all these business tools to your business account very easily. Whether you're a small business owner, startup, or a freelancer, Nord1 makes business banking very easy and accessible. Also, it's perfect for real estate agents. North One gives you all the tools you need for you to manage the finances of your small business so you can focus on what matters the most, helping your clients buy and sell their homes. For more information on North One, you can check the link in the description. And now, let's start our tour. From the street level, we have the telescoping gates opening up to the driveway that takes us up to the two-car garage. They also have this steel frame front fence right there that really differentiates this house from the rest of the neighborhood front lawn area and the walkway takes you up to the entry from here we can get a really good look at the overall exterior architecture of this home exterior facade of this home is comprised of wood siding throughout i really like all the black details like the exterior wall sconces all the windows front door and the roof line and it's contrasting beautifully with the wood tones of this home now let's take this walkway and check out the inside of the home all right everyone here we are at the entry First room in front of us is the formal living room area. Seating section on this side, a lot of casement windows bringing natural light in, nice high ceilings, built-in speakers, recessed lights, and this is a bit of a different design right here. We're used to seeing a lot of linear gas fireplaces. Instead of that, they went with a more square design, and I like how they clad right on top of it with the same metal finish. We have wall sconces on each side, and the room next to it is the formal dining room area. Table for eight. Beautiful chandelier right above. Another set of casement windows bringing natural light in. And I like how this whole space is open. Not to mention, you have your wine cellar right here, complementing your formal dining room area. Mikey, let's get a close up. I love how they have the vertical wood clad over here as well, kind of carrying some of those details from the exterior. Not to mention, they have these recessed in lighting section that complements the wine cellar. And it smells so good, it's brand new. It does, it does. Let's actually cover this real quick before we continue the hallway. Storage right underneath the staircase and we have another hallway right here. And as we follow, coat closet on my left and this door opens up to the two car garage with epoxy floors. And as we go back to the hallway, we have another bedroom right here, currently staged as an office. Wood clad ceilings, recessed lights, two casement windows and Mikey let's go this way walk-in closet pretty straightforward and this bedroom also gets a full bathroom with oversized tiles and they use this tile pattern as a back wall and that wall continues all the way into the walk-in shower as well casement window for ventilation we have the vanity set up right here with the recessed in handles and really cool light fixtures now let's go back to the hallway and we just covered the formal living room area, formal dining, wine cellar, 
staircase taking us up to the second floor. And as we go this way, first room on our left is the powder room, pretty spacious, serving the first floor of the home, Venetian plaster walls, floating vanity design with a towel rack on the bottom. And Mikey, let's pen up to the ceiling for a second. I like this recessed in LED lighting they have right there. I was gonna ask you, there's this little slit of light that gets kind of angular and smaller. I thought that might be a skylight right there, but. That's the shadow. Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. And they even have the ceilings clad with wood right here. Now, following the hallway, another display storage. And this is kind of like the main space of the house. On the first floor, we have the family room, breakfast nook, and the kitchen. Before we cover that, there's a really cool door right here opening up to the movie theater. Nice plush carpet, comfortable seating, and I really like how the developer clad all these walls with cloth finish, and he left the vertical reveal detail right here. We have cold lighting above, and the back wall and the wall where we have the screen even has that wood clad detail. Lastly, another detail I wanna mention, the baseboards have these recessed in lights, really giving it the movie theater effect. Overall, good size room, complementing the family room, and that movie theater is right in the center of the house, so it has no window details. Now, we have the seating position towards this side, that's where we have the built-ins. Let's cover that section. And yeah, this is the family room, hardwood floors throughout. We have Venetian plaster here, where we have the linear gas fireplace. This recessed in section, that's for your TV. In fact, right in the center, we already have the pre-wiring done. Wood clad ceilings, and we have more floating shelf design right here with LED lighting underneath. And I really like the color contrast here. We have the darker tones and the centerpiece is a lighter gray. And we have these accordion doors right here opening up to the backyard. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now, breakfast nook. This section kicks out a little bit. We have all these windows bringing natural light in. Casement design on each side with a light fixture right in the center. And we have the kitchen right in front of me. What I really like about this kitchen is the contrast between the dark cabinetry and the light marble countertop design on the island. I guess let's start with the island first. We have the countertop right here with no seams in the center. It's a single slab. And I really like how they did this waterfall edge detail and it's book match, not to mention this reveal detail they have, which is very unique. This is the first time we're seeing a detail like this and it pretty much wraps around. Mikey, you need to kind of pull yourself this way a little bit so I can center, show another Center detail. myself. Yep. So what I really like about this island is that he, the developer could have easily left the waterfall edge and call it a day. Instead, they wrapped the front, the side, and even the section underneath the countertop to kind of uniform the overall design of this island. Looks gorgeous. From your family room, it looks like a one piece of stone, which is really cool. As I go this way, we have the panel section right here, freezer, fridge, and the cabinetry continues on this side, but let's finish our tour for the island. We have the microwave right here, black sink, and Mikey, check this out. How cool is this kitchen sink? Seriously, it's gunmetal, and it's definitely something different and unique. And let's show the last part. Paneled dishwasher right here. Looking this way, we have the cabinetry continue. Another unique detail, so we have a darker countertop here, also used as a backsplash. LED lit underneath the cabinetry. Hood vent, again, nicely paneled with the same cabinetry. Another unique detail, the developer left each side of the vent kind of open and he put wall sconces, which is a very unique design element. I feel like this is probably the first time we've ever seen something like this, but looking to the kitchen from the outside, it makes the kitchen feel a little bit more spacious and kind of airy. Yeah, and what, what would people use those spaces for? Is that kind of just like somewhere to, to put something, you want a, you know, a statue or a, a piece of art or? I mean, obviously you can store things up there, but I would put something like a vase or something to decorate your kitchen, you know? add some color like pretty much what they did with the staging. Um, we have the Wolf 8 burner gas stove. Cabinetry continues and going this way, look at this detail. They, you know, they clad the inside of the hallway opening with the same cabinetry, another unique touch. We have kind of like a, another servicing area right here. I say servicing because at the end of this hallway, we have the formal dining room area. Unique detail. They actually did the big reveal here. Micah, are you seeing it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's really cool. We have plenty of storage here. Same countertops continues also as a backsplash. And we have these floating shelf designs right here. And the last part of this kitchen, this door opens up to the pantry. Overall, great kitchen, very clean lines. And I think it goes well with the overall design scheme of this house. With that, I want to take the time to actually 
acknowledge the developer of this project. His name is Jason from JJP Construction. And we actually toured another one of his projects. I will leave a link in the description. He's someone I learned a lot from. He builds a lot of homes here in Los Angeles. So I wanted to make sure we acknowledge his efforts in this house. Yeah, and he's a really cool guy. He just stopped in here a few minutes ago, had a chat with us uh, about why he chose some of these designs and finishes. And he knows a lot about real estate, a lot about construction. You'll be sure to go to his Instagram and check him out. Definitely, he takes a lot of pride in what he does. Make sure to give him a follow. And that wraps our tour for the first floor of this home. Now, why don't we open up these accordion doors and check out the backyard? All right, guys, let's tour this backyard. But before we do that, I have to open up these doors. Nice and easy. You love those accordion doors. Love it. And there you go. Now your living room opened up to your backyard space. Nice patio, pergola design above. Mikey, let's get a close up. We got those beautiful metal caps right on top of the each beams. Your joist hangers, nicely sealed. And we have the outdoor dining area right here. And patio continues. Barbecue area. Nice poured in place, polished concrete countertop. Let's get a close up. You can see all the aggregates and everything because they also kind of polish it a little bit. So it's cool. It has a lot of character. Your barbecue setup and let's continue our tour. So this house is a big backyard. So we got a lot of grounds to work with here. Beautiful olive tree. They even have some outdoor lighting on it. And right next to that section, we have another outdoor seating area and they use the same countertops on the barbecue area that we just saw right here. The poured in place concrete for the seating fireplace right in front of it and since this is a seating area right on the side of the pool house we actually have the wiring for your future tv which is great now let's open up this door let's go inside pool house which is very cool same hardwood floors that we saw in the house is also brought in here even the vaulted ceilings ceiling fan i like the contrast between the white speakers and the dark ceiling it looks really cool not to mention you have these accordion doors where you can stack and open them up Open this space right here to your pool, play your music, enjoy your backyard. Some built-ins right here. And this room has a powder room pretty much. Your toilet, vanity setup. Let's not forget, this room can even work as an office because you have your AC system right there. Taking this walkway and wrapping around the pool house. Check this out. Walk-in shower. That's cool. For your pool, right? Which is really cool. And this part is my favorite. You got a little herb garden right here, which already has a drip irrigation system. Let's see what we got here. We got oregano, thyme, basil. There's something very satisfying about growing your own herbs and vegetables and fruits. If you've never done it before, start with the basil, work your way up. Now let's talk about the pool. We have the lounge area on this side, spa right here, simple plaster, definitely a good sized pool. They use the gray mosaic tile all around the edge of the pool and they use the same tile also around the spa as well. Another cool detail, the drain covers also match the color of the tiles as well. And let's talk about this backyard. You have the grass section right here, nicely hedged on each side. I mean, getting this much land in the middle of the city, being this close to the beach for this price tag, it's kind of unheard of. And looking at the overall exterior architecture of the home, same exterior class that we saw up front are also brought in here. I love the contrast between the wood tones and all the black finishes. We have the accordion doors opened up. I mean, what else you need? Yeah, it's pretty great. And that wraps our tour for the backyard. Now, why don't we take the stairs, go to the second floor and check out all the bedrooms. guys let's go to the second floor as I'm coming up we have more vertical wood siding element throughout the staircase beautiful chandelier right in the center and Mikey I need a close-up here let's show the railing detail I really really like how they recess in the glass so it looks very seamless and to tie in the overall wood theme of this staircase design they even have the top piece out of the same wood now we have four bedroom suites on this level laundry room and a landing area Let's start this way first. 
This is the first bedroom facing the side of the property. We have vaulted ceilings here with all the wood clad, casement window on this side. Bed is situated here. I wanna show a detail. So we have a switch here, right? When you turn it on, nothing happens. Mikey, let's point up to the beam right in the center. We actually have a cap there. So they already pre-wired everything. In the future, if you'd like to put a ceiling fan here, you can do that. They already thought about it. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be a nightmare and quite expensive to have to drill through that beam and run wiring if you wanted to install a fan later on. 100%, you don't wanna mess up that ceiling detail, you know? Now, on my left, walk-in closet, check it out. And as we follow the hallway, this is where we have the full bathroom. I really like the contrast between the gray mosaic tiles and the white grout, and they carry that detail all the way into the walls and all the way into the walk-in shower. Then any setup right here, black countertops, and they use the same countertops also at the shower sill right here, all the way to the bench design, which is really cool. Yeah, it's nice. Now, let's go back to the hallway and continue our tour. Bedroom number two, this is a front-facing bedroom. We have the same vaulted ceiling design here as well. Casement window on this side, built-in closets right here. Same hardwood floors are also in this bedroom. And kind of the same finishes. Floor tiles were also used as a back wall with these uh, Edison bulb lighting. And they use the same floor tiles also in the walk-in shower. I got a question for you, Ennis. So up? we're seeing these capped uh, beams for the, for the fans in every room, right? Mm -hmm. I've been curious for a while, do staging companies install fans or do developers usually do that room to room? Like, is staging part of the furniture or is it part of the design? Staging is part of the furniture. So ceiling lights or any kind of light fixtures or anything attached to the walls, that's up to the developer. Okay. So the developer has to decide on that. Now, wrapping around, we have some hallway storage right here. Bedroom number three. This is also a front facing bedroom. Pretty much the same finishes, same style, same kind of ceiling design is also here. This is where we have the walk-in closet. And going this way, the bathroom. They use the same floor tiles as a back wall all the way to the top setup right there. Floating vanity design with lighter countertops. And I really like how each bedroom in this house kind of has its own character and they're kind of nicely separated from each other. So we just toured the three suites on this side and we were back at the landing where we have a little seating area, right? Uh, shiplap wall on this side with a little bit of a darker tone, casement windows. I always like these. Developer thought about it already. In the future, if you'd like to place a TV here, you have your wiring, you're good to go. And now, before we tour the master bedroom, which is right there, let's go this way. Laundry room. Flat panel cabinetry. I like the lighter countertops. Obviously, this section is a little bit raised so you can accommodate the dryer and washer. Mikey, you need to come close here because we got a cool detail. So we have a floor drain right here, which is great because that's where you put your washer. And in the future, if your washer starts leaking, you may not even notice, but it could easily seep into your walls and damage the house. So having a drain like that could pretty much save your house, which is another great detail. And before we leave the laundry area, I really like this faucet. I mentioned it in the kitchen. It kind of matches the style. Looks like a little mini fire hydrant. Yeah, that's fun. Lastly, sorry, I keep mentioning details. These terrazzo influenced tile floors in the laundry room. Now, let's go check out the master bedroom. Door opens up. We got two closets, kind of identical in size, but finished a little bit differently. And I like that they brought the wood and black contrast even in here. Uh, we have open shelving, storage, more open shelving on the bottom, hanger, and right on the other side, we have the second one. This one is a little bit more spacious, but kind of the same uniform finish. We have shoe racks over here, complementing the master bedroom. Now, let's check out the bedroom. We have the king size bed situated on this side, casement windows on each side, more casement assembly right here, looking towards your backyard area. Lighter tones on the ceiling. Again, we have the same vaulted ceiling design, but they left more of the wood look instead of darker colors that we saw throughout the house. Great space. We have the fireplace right here. Again, they kind of continue the metal section. There is a stone design right here. Everything is pre-wired. And Mikey, I have a question for you. I'm gonna throw you off a little bit. Okay. So, what is different about the bedrooms in this house or even the rest of the house compared to some of the other homes? Like a detail that kind of stands out as a little bit different. 
Um, come on, you got this. I like the colors are a little bit more like drastic and contrasting than we usually see, but that can't, that's not that different. Uh, I don't know, I give up. Okay, well, the answer is right here. The plugs. Dang it, you uh, said that when we got here. I should have known the answer to that. I did, I did. You're slipping, bro. But, uh, so normally we have the plugs on the walls, right? They cut it into a drywall. But in this case, throughout the house, developer placed all the plugs in the baseboards. I personally like this look. Number one, it makes your walls look a little bit more cleaner and organized, and I like that. Number two, when you use, you know, your cords to plug in, they're not hanging from the walls. They're nicely tucked into the floor. And some of you may be thinking like, is that some sort of a trick to kind of cut corners or save money? You know, maybe it's easier to install. Back in the day when people retrofit homes, sometimes they will pull the baseboard to put the plugs there to kind of cheat and find an easier way. But in this case, it's actually more expensive because instead of cutting a drywall, which is very easy and you just use a router. You gotta cut wood, right? Exactly, you have to cut wood. So to get all these cuts right, it's a lot of work, but in my opinion, it's really worth it. It really gives a clean look to the house. Now. The last part of this master bedroom suite, master bathroom, come on in. We got a lot of details to cover here. So I really like the wood tones in this bathroom. They brought some of those exterior elements to the interior of the home. In this case, we have the same vertical siding installed in this master bathroom. We have the makeup area on this side, different choice. Gray freestanding tub. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we're seeing a gray color, which is very unique, right? Yeah, it's cool. It is cool. Floor mount, tub filler on this side, casement windows bringing a lot of natural light in, and they're all facing to the back side of the property. And now we have the double vanity right here, loading design with recessed in handles. Mikey, there's a detail I want to show. Can you come up for a second? Oh, I got a detail I want to show you next. There time. you go. We're just showing our details. That's right. So, it sounded weird, but yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> So every time I inspect a home, if I'm in the bathroom, I always pull the drawer right underneath the bathroom sink. And I always look to see their cuts to accommodate the drain lines. If they're rushing to build a home and everybody's just trying to finish their part so they can leave, these cuts are generally terrible and rushed. But in this case, we have a beautiful miter here. I can see these pin nails. Cut looks great, everything looks square. That tells me the attention to detail. Yeah, and that's actually one of the OG NS details. We've been talking about those cuts since the early days of the video. Yes, but we have been. We yeah. have been preaching to people the good stuff yeah. since day one. So if you're new to this channel, y'all go back a year, year and a <laughs> half, and look at some of our old videos and we're filming with a GoPro, and you'll see the difference. Yeah, yeah you will see the difference. But, We've been telling the truth ever since. But enough of NS details. Let's get to Mikey details. All right. I love this LED backlit mirror. It's actually like space like a few inches off the wall. Typically when we see these, this has, I think, a much more dramatic look because it's a black tile. There you go. I was just going to say that that contrast between the white light and the black tile kind of magnifies it a little bit, but I agree. I think it looks great. And I like how they carry the same tile as a back wall, just like the rest of the bathrooms. We have the wall sconces. Say hi to the guys and double vanity setup. This is really unique. So the both sinks are kind of in the one opening and they have a lower section right here. So they're kind of connected to each other. We have these cool faucets with the textured handles and just like the other bathrooms, they use the same countertops also for the bathroom sill. And let's go in. They also use the same material as a back wall with a bench design, shampoo, racks in this case. I guess they're not niches, right? Yeah, no niche. Yeah. No niche. And we have the rain head right above us, handhelds, shower heads, pretty spacious bathroom. I mean, what else do you need? That's great. And that wraps our tour for this master bathroom. Overall, I really like the master bedroom side of this house. It's kind of pulled away from the rest of the bedrooms and it's pretty well proportioned for a home this size. And that wraps our tour for the second floor. Now, why don't we fast forward a few more hours, see the home at dusk, and after that, I'll summarize my thoughts on this house. All right guys, that's it for the video. Now let's talk about the house. This home might be one of the best valued homes we have ever toured here in Los Angeles. And I say that for a couple of reasons. Number one is the location. You're seven to eight minutes away from the beach, which is one of the best amenities the city has to offer. 
Number two, the property itself. You have a huge private backyard, you get a pool house, you have a pool, and over 5,000 square foot of interior square footage. Now, the house itself, what I really liked about the house is all the wood tones they use throughout the exterior and the interior. And another detail I really liked is the contrast between the wood tones and all the black details that we saw throughout the house, like the windows, doors, and all the trims and light fixtures. Now, in terms of layout, although house had a pretty open feel, I really liked that it still had a formal living room, dining room, and we had the family room, kitchen, and breakfast nook all opening up to the incredible backyard. In terms of my favorite room, I think I'm gonna have to go with the kitchen. I feel like I keep liking the kitchens in most of the homes we tour, but I really like the minimalist design and probably my favorite detail was the island and how it was all clad with marble pretty much throughout. And that wraps our tour for this home. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Before we end this video, I wanna thank the developer, JJP Construction, for allowing us to tour his amazing development. I wanna thank all the listing agents and I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or input, leave us a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week.